Honestly, sometimes I get nervous uh, making content at all. I don't think what I do is particularly controversial, even though people brand me as such. If you just look at what I'm saying, it's, you know, Hollywood's making bad movies. Uh, they don't like you. They're trying to push a weird agenda. They're trying to, you know, make your kids to grow up to be freaks. That That is exactly what they're doing. It shouldn't be a bad thing to say this, but just speaking the truth is dangerous in modern society and... Uh, you know, it comes down to it, like, I've got a family. It's like, is this the right thing to do? I don't know sometimes, based on what I'm seeing now. And the quartering has dealt with this a few times. We reported on him being swatted before, along with Nick Ricada, Tim Pool. You know, it seems like once you get to a certain level, uh, there's some very nasty people who just don't care and just actually want you dead. Uh, and that's a difficult thing to grapple with, because it's like, I'm just trying to make comic books at the end of the day, right? and science fiction novels, you'd think. Oh, well, we're gonna get into the story of what happened yesterday, uh, and it's a very sad thing, which of course we should all disavow and uh, never participate in. But uh, we will talk about this in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. This is my Amazon page, and I've got all my links in the description below. If you wanna check out my books, like uh, The Stars Entwined here, which is one of my space opera series, uh, would, would be happy for you to do so. Just a couple of bucks gets you a book. If you've got Kindle Unlimited, you can read these for free, honestly. Uh, and so here it is. Uh, I've got all of that on Amazon uh, up for you. And I've also got a subscribe star. So if you want to support us more directly, and uh, of course, you know, if this gets going at some point, I can use this to actually fund comic books in their entirety. That's kind of been the goal all along. Would appreciate that. We've been banned from Patreon, of course. And so this is a great free speech alternative. I appreciate everybody who supports. All right, the quartering uh, was swatted again yesterday, as I mentioned, but he wasn't even home. So this is what happened. Some moron just swatted my mother-in-law, who's watching my home because he's not there. This is why I can't leave. F it. Here it is. I hate this. She is terrified. I guess I can never leave again. I never signed up for this. My poor family certainly didn't either. So are you disagree with my opinions on pointless YouTube videos? I guess I can't live a basic human life and my entire family has to suffer. Absolutely a terrible thing. Now, I don't always agree with what the quartering says and, you know, I, I have not had a great time with him personally. Uh, but at the same time, like, nobody deserves this kind of thing. Nobody deserves uh, to be attacked like this and destroyed like this. It's really an awful thing. And to have his family put at risk is just a really, really disgusting move that anybody who is involved in such matters should be absolutely ashamed of. In fact, they should be headed to jail because, you know, some poor lady, <laughs> poor old lady, who's just sitting in a house by herself having to deal with the cops showing up like this, not okay. But this is what we deal with it, it, all the time. We have an opinion on a movie or something like that. And some jackass gets so mad at the internet because of that, that it's like we can't even like live our lives without having to look over our shoulders full time. It's really stressful. A lot of people don't understand that. And I'm not even, you know, what am I, a hundredth, not even a hundredth of the, uh, the size of the quartering in terms of like my audience size. It's like uh, that, that sort of thing rings true here. But like with the amount of people that follow the quartering, it's just an, a, a huge avalanche of just hate that you deal with all the time. I, I feel bad for the guy on that level. Now, the funny part is he was just trying to like make Magic the Gathering videos at the beginning of all this. He wasn't even like really engaged in all this stuff. And because some cosplayer uh, decided to go at him, you know, it entered him into the culture war. None of us chose this. For my sake, I was banned from science fiction because I was just questioning, hey guys, why don't we have conventions that like actually talk about the books and the shows that we like and all that, rather than actually like doing all these like, you know, minority wine fests and stuff like that that make everything terrible uh, at the conventions and make everybody angry. Why don't we just come together instead of trying to divide everybody? That's what I, my message was. And of course I got banned and blacklisted for that. And it forced me into this culture war. All of us here are only here because they forced us into it because they just couldn't leave us alone couldn't allow us to enjoy ourselves and enjoy the things we love. It's really a tragedy at the end of the day and that it impacts our families and impacts other people like just because we want to talk about what's going on. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Now that umbrella guy made a comment about this, uh, which was great and here it is. Somebody swatted the quartering again. He wasn't even home. His mother-in-law was the one that got swatted. The shit people do because they dislike your opinions is disgusting. I absolutely agree with him 100%. So hopefully something gets done about this because like this type of stuff can't continue. We can't be just making commentary about culture and then have to worry that our families are going to be put at risk because of that. It's absolutely insane. You want to talk about literal Nazis and all that. That's literal Nazi type of behavior to try to silence opinions through this kind of thing. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, we'll be back soon.